everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jamie Lee here. Today we are gonna be doing another spooky Halloween makeup look. Ooh. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing a werewolf look um, for Halloween, which is super exciting. When I was trying to decide what looks I wanted to do for this Halloween for my channel, um, I kind of wanted to go with like the classic monster creatures, so we decided to do werewolf this week. Hence, the brown. I'm trying to color coordinate my makeup looks with my outfit. Because this is a lot. This is probably the most amount of things we are going to be putting on our face. Um, so we're gonna jump right in. <laughs> I already have my base makeup on, foundation, I've got a little bit of contour on, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to be recontouring to give it a more werewolfy look. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys all the products that I'm using. However, you don't need to use any specific products for this. It's a Halloween look, which means you only are gonna use the thing one time. Um, for instance, I got this Fit Me foundation that is obviously not my color uh, for this makeup look, and I won't ever touch it again. So go and get whatever product you think works best for you, uh, and it is within your price range. Price really does not matter for this, so again, let's just jump right in. So the first thing that I wanna do is actually take my uh, Fit Me foundation. I wouldn't consider my YouTube channel like a makeup YouTube channel, so I don't have like a second angle for you. Is that something I should do? Write down in the comments below. So I'm just gonna pour out this Fit Me Foundation, and I'm gonna do a pretty hefty amount because we're gonna be using this dark color, the shade. The shade is 340 Cappuccino, which is obviously not my color, but I'm using it to sort of like really highly define my contour lines um, to make it look dark and, and werewolfy, or when we wanna look furry. I'm just gonna go in with this little brush. I'm basically painting my face right now. And I am just going to go up, 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 up. It's okay if it looks a little splotchy at first. We're putting this everywhere that you would regularly put contour, so, you know, your cheekbone lines underneath the neck bone, and we're actually gonna come up a little bit more than you usually would, and around the hairline. Don't worry if it looks a little splotchy, because we're gonna go back in with some other types of products to give it that sort of hair-like look. And I look like a crazy person right now, but that's okay. <laughs> this looks so weird. It looks so weird right now. So, 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 so weird. So I've got the base down for this hair werewolf look. Um, I don't know if you can see what I did down on the neck. I like really went dark here and then I sort of like faded it in towards um, where my little Adam apple would be if I were a boy. So I blended everything in with the hair and you can actually see it kind of colored my roots there, um, which is fine, you know, it's gonna make things look more realistic. Now, while I sort of let that dry, I'm gonna start to put some brown down for my eyeshadow, and we are gonna go all the way up to the eyebrows and out um, with our shadow. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different down by uh, the lower lash line, so we're gonna skip that for right now. We'll come back to it a little later once this is all dried and stuff, but for right now, we're gonna put some brown down on the eyes. We're also gonna be using, um, this may look familiar to you, I use it every single day, this Lorac Pro Palette. We're gonna be using this really dark brown here, the chocolate. We're also gonna be using a little bit of the corduroy. But right now, it's all about getting a base of super dark brown down. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> so we just ended up using the Lorac chocolate. It was dark enough that I didn't really feel the need to put anything else down for that base color. Um, and yes, I said base. You just wait, wait for it, okay? Just chill. I know this looks freaky. I know it looks weird, but I promise it's all gonna come together. I swear it. On on everything do I swear it. So before we, we wanna finish the top part of the lid um, before we move on. So now I'm gonna go back to that Pro Fusion palette and I am gonna use this shade here. Boop, boop, boop. This really gold color. And we're gonna just fill in the in-between between this dark brown and our brows and it's gonna look a little funky, it's gonna look a little weird, but I'm asking y'all to trust me, okay? This is like a really pretty bronzy shade and it's kinda gonna match. Okay, so I just put that like really bronzy color from my inner crease and I sort of fanned it out over the really dark chocolate brown and I went straight up, harsh line. You want those harsh lines because we wanna look, you know, like a werewolf and that, that you're not humanoid. And then I just went over, it kind of blends well uh, together. It, I, like there's definitely a sharp line there between the chocolate and that bronze-ish color. 
um, but when it overlaps, it's really pretty. Um, and again, I know that we still look crazy and that's because of all of this um, stuff that we've got going on. So let's address that right now. So basically all of this foundation that we put down here was to give us a more animalistic shaped face. That's why I've got the little V on the top. That's why I have like a really harsh, low um, crease below my cheekbones. Um, but it is a little too light. Um, based on how dark we're going on the eyes um, and how dark I want to go in general, we kind of need to darken it up a little bit. So I'm going to take that same chocolate. Yes, this is eyeshadow and yes, I'm using it on my face, but you know what? Again, this is just one look. I'm using it just for Halloween, so don't you all come after me. And we're just going to try to darken um, a little bit of this foundation. I can't talk today. Oh, holy shiitake mushrooms didn't swear. This was a lot of trial and error. My original thought was that putting the foundation down was going to make a sticky enough surface for the shadow to go on seamlessly, especially up here. You can see that it is very patchy. You can't really tell for the actual cheekbone lines. I think those came out pretty okay. Um, at least for right now, we're still in the rough stages. One of the great things about a werewolf look though, is that werewolves are animalistic. Okay. It does not need to be perfection. All right. Y'all heard. Okay, good. Because if you were coming here looking for perfection, you came to the wrong spot. This is all in good fun. That's what this is. Now we're going to take a break from that area and we are going to finish up our eyes. And right now we're going to go for the lower lines. So right now I'm going to take that really dark, deep chocolate again from the Lorac Pro Palette. And we're going to go under the eye, almost connecting right here, but we are not, we're going to stop. We're not going to go all the way. We're not going to do one of those half ones that you would usually do. We're going to go a little further than usual, but we're going to leave a big old gap. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, her. That was the easiest thing I have had to do so far in this makeup tutorial. Now from the lower lash line, we're going to angle downwards towards the nose, exactly like a line, just like that with the same color. Came out pretty good guys. Now. <laughs> There are so many steps to this and I look ridiculous. I have to pick my husband up from work later. Now we're going to do a parallel line from our top lid, from the corner of our top lid down. Mm, I look like a crazy person. Now I overshot my lines because I'm really bad at doing straight parallel lines. So now we're just going to shorten them up just a teeny tiny bit um, with some concealer. Uh, feel free to do this beforehand if you want to. Um, I'm just going to put like a little dot dot and a little dot dot and it's okay because we are going to be darkening up the nose for our contour similar to what we did on the sides of our face. So if it looks a little messy, again, that's okay. The ending bit of this tutorial is really what's going to sort of solidify and put everything together. So you, you'll see where we're going with this because right now I can understand if you think it looks a hot mess. I, I personally, I don't, don't think it looks that bad. Um, but I could understand if that is what you think. Okay, y'all, I just buffed out with a fluffier brush. I think the forehead looks a lot better. But again, we're looking animalistic, so it doesn't need to look perfect. Now, if you want to be sort of a cute, you know, little werewolf, you can put some blush on. I'm going to because I feel like I'm putting so much stuff on my face. Uh, it would be weird if I didn't put some sort of blush on. I don't think you necessarily need it um, with this at all. Like, you're, it's, you're not even really going to... Uh, that's not what people are going to be looking at, is the blush on your face, okay? But if you are going to put blush on, put a lot on because otherwise it's going to be battling with what else you have on your face, so you're really not going to be able to see it. So like, I'm really putting that on there. And I know that this may seem a little time consuming, but the more effort you put into blending those lines um, with the harsh contour that you did, uh, the better it's going to look. So I'm just going to take a little bit extra time and sort of try to blend that in. Okay guys, I tried to blend in a little bit more um, of the dark color. I still think that like from far away this is looking pretty cool. Like I think I definitely look 
like it's a Halloween costume for one, because obviously this is not everyday makeup, and I think I'm, I'm becoming more werewolfy the more we do this. <laughs> obviously we're going to experiment a little bit because it is Halloween, and I figured werewolf, well, you know, they're hairy. I went and I got some hair extension-y headband thingies from the dollar store, and we're gonna cut up a little bit, and I've got some spirit gum here, and we are going to try to make um, this forehead not look as like big block of color as you know it does right now we're gonna try to make it look more werewolfy so this is very experimental i kind of just have an idea of what i want to do i haven't tested it out yet i mean a lot of the stuff that i'm doing right now is sort of playing around with my face some of these things i have done before though like i have done the extreme contouring but i did it with a different color for a specific character i was playing but i've never done monster werewolf before so this is all experimental but in theory in, in my brain, everything works out. Time to cut up. So I'm just gonna cut up a couple little strands, probably like an inch or two um, thickness, and it's just to give our skin a little texture so that it's more like werewolfy. Let me just chop off some of that. Get the spirit gum ready. I only have like this little itty bitty thing, and I am just going to put a couple dots on my forehead and we're gonna put the hair on and then we're gonna trim to make it look interesting. You know what, we're experimenting. Let's just do the cheek lines too. Now while we wait for the spirit gum to sort of get tacky, we've got our hair sitting right in front of me and I won't lose it because God, that would be horrible. I'd get hair, ev I'd get hair everywhere. But when we put the hair down, we don't want it to look like one straight line of hair. So I am just gonna start. And, pour, and I'm gonna try to do it in line. Oh my god, that looks horrible. It may look dumb now. <laughs> it looks so dumb. I, it looks like I ruined this. But we are gonna make this work and I am just gonna keep on tacking on spirit glue and hair until this looks presentable because I care about you guys and I care about this channel. <laughs> but just a little texture kinda looks cool. I don't know. I I think it looks cool. I think the texture looks cool. Am I dumb? Like, obviously it doesn't look great. I'm still fidgeting around with it, but I don't think it looks good. I think the texture kind of makes it look neat. Especially on the cheekbones, like on the cheekbone lines. Granted, you gotta really trim yourself down. Like, look at this. Look at this little hair right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it up close. I think... The cheekbones look awesome with a little bit of hair attached. I think it looks super cool. I think it did a damn good job. Now, the top of the head, that's a different story. I think my approach was really off. I do think the texture looks cool. Um, I'll maybe fidget around with that a little bit more off camera, so a little movie magic right now, if you wouldn't mind, future Jamie, thanks. Okay guys, um, I fidgeted around a little bit more. I got a little bit more hair, a little bit more coverage. It still looks a little weird, but I definitely think I'm looking more like a werewolf. What do you guys think? Like, do I look like a werewolf to you? Because I am feeling it. I'm not going to do under my chin, mostly because I think that this came out so good and then this came out sort of and I don't want to mess up the chin part. I'm covered in hair though, so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to throw that way over there. That little one dollar tchotchke thing. So we gotta jump back into eyes because though they look cool and I like the colors and how it like sort of fades into that bronze color, I wanna make them bigger and, and better because we're a monster. So I'm gonna take um, my felt tip liner, my NYC liner, and I'm gonna do my top lid. I'm not gonna make a wing. I'm gonna do my bottom lid and I'm gonna define those two lines that I have going in towards the nose a little bit more. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just did my liner. Now I got these little ear cover things from the Halloween store and I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that concealer on them to sort of dirty them up a little bit. Right now they look a little bit too much like elf ears and we want to be werewolves. We're also gonna do some more spirit gum and put some hair um, on them going out. So let's just do that really quick. So while those ears are drying, the last thing that we have to do is our eyebrows. So my eyebrows are a little too pretty to be a werewolf, so we need to make them look a little bushy. And part of that I'll be able to do just by like messing them up. But I also want to go in with a pencil and sort of like draw up my eyebrows a little bit. So we made our eyebrows a little bushy. Now we want to take a very, very, 
very, very fine tooth brush. Like this little brush is so itty bitty. I don't even know what it's for. I, I probably could find out what it's for, but um, I won't use it for that. I just use it for when I need to do detailing. And we're gonna take, again, that chocolate brown color. Man, we gotta love brown when we're doing this one. And we're just gonna go up um, and make a couple of peaks in our eyebrow. So we'll start with the first little peak right here. So you see what I mean? It looks more like animalistic y and whatnot. Okay. Wow, guys. Okay, guys. So those are our eyebrows. Those are all done. The ears are still drying, and since they're still drying, I figured we'd just play around a little bit more, and I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter in between those two lines on my nose. And I just wanna put a little bit of highlighter in the center creases of my eyes, too, because I want it to just pop, you know? Oh, yeah, that's pretty. So the ears are dry. We put hair all over them. It didn't come out quite as great as I wanted it to. I still think it's gonna look cute though. So let's just trim off around the ear. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on my little earies. Look at my little earies! <laughs> so we have made it. This has probably been the longest tutorial I've ever done. Um, I'm hoping that I can skip over some of the pits for you so that it's not super long. But now all we need to do is lips and one added bonus fun thing. Um, I got this lipstick at the dollar store because it was super dark and it kind of looked brown-ish. I don't, now that I'm looking at it, it's not as brown as I was hoping. Um, but maybe we'll dust it in that eyeshadow again. It's called Dramatic from LA Colors. Let's just throw this on. I mean, this red would work if you're looking for like more of a cutish werewolf. I think this is kind of a cutish werewolf anyway, honestly. Like I would I would be this for Halloween if I had a fur coat, like I said. Wear like a brown sports bra with some brown slacks and a fur coat. This would be awesome. I am gonna dust this, I think, with that brown just because Mmm, <sighs> much better. Now it's more like a chocolate brown and I like it. Okay, I've got one more bit for you guys and then we are done. This part I need to do off camera though because it's a surprise. I'm a werewolf! I didn't get the adhesive for the teeth. <laughs> but you get the idea. Get the adhesive for the teeth, put these little fang things in there. So cool. They're just like little caps for your tooth. Well guys, this has been my werewolf Halloween makeup tutorial. I am very proud of myself for playing around. Like I said, I had a lot of ideas in my head. Um, some of them I've done before, some of them I haven't. So it was like a little weird sort of experiment in construction as to what goes on in my brain. Um, if you liked this tutorial and you wanna see more, I'm planning on doing, I think at least two, oh my God, only one more. Aww. I'm planning on only doing one more Halloween-esque um, type makeup routine so I was planning on doing swamp monster but if there's anything that you guys want to see instead please write down in the comments below also if you liked this video please feel free to hit subscribe I'm very close to a hundred subscribers and that's my goal for the end of the year is to hit hundred subscribers thank you to everybody who's hit subscribe so far I love you all so much tell me in the comments below what you're gonna be for Halloween because I have so many costumes and so many makeup ideas but I still don't know what I want to do so help a girl out. All right, guys, until next time, I hope your October stays spooky. Mwah! Ow, ow, ow!